assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to solve some mathematics sums of grade 4th from smart mathematics today we are going to start our new chapter which is chapter number 2 addition on page number 15 on addition question number 1 here is build up solve vertically i had already given that question to you in your first week homework I, it's very easy for you to make a sum of all that questions like this and solve it on the loose sheet. I hope you had already done it. Now move on for page number 16 now. Page number 16 we have first question is find the sum of following. You have to solve that the answers of that sums on the book. The answers of that sums on the book. Now the today's concept is finding the missing addend our today's concept is finding the missing addend what is addend i am going to explain you about the addend same like this as we have so many things in our world and everything has a name everything in the world has a name same like this every number which we have in our mathematics has a name when we are going to when we have a question of addition sum we have two numbers or more than two which we are going to add and find our answer so these numbers have a name the first ones called addend and second ones number also called addend and when we add that two addends the answer of that is called sum the answer is called sum same like this we can solve our questions here and whatever the addend is missing now i'm going to tell you about the method how we find the missing addend in our addition sums this is the definition on page number 16 finding the missing addend to find the missing addend always subtract the given number from the answer this is the main thing which you have to learn also underline that you have to underline that line to understand the concept we have to find the missing addend now here is an example in front of you here first addend is missing we have second numbers addend and a sum here so how we have to find the missing this missing addend we are going to write the sum on the top why we have to write the sum on the top because whenever we have to subtract the bigger value is on the top we have to write that answer on the top and the second addend below and we have to find our answer very easily and if we have the second addend missing same method we have to follow we have to write the sum on the top and the other number below here i am going to solve an example question for you and to follow that pattern you have to solve that question find the missing addend from page number 16 and page number 17 has question number 1 which is all same like this you have to solve it as a today's video homework now i'm going to tell you a sem an example question about this i have a question here is 259 and sum here is 6 58. it is the first part of our question number one write that question first then write that make a sum below and now subtract it after borrowing that's how we can find our answer 14 minus 5 is also 9 
5 subtract 2 is 3. So our answer here is our first missing addend is 399. Now here is an example also about the second addend which is 3134 plus is equal 502. It is our part C. 502. For this we have to make a sum again as well. Write that sum on the top and the num given number below. It is 50 sorry 502134 and subtract it. Twelve minus four is eight. Nine minus three is six, and four minus one is three sixty-eight. So our answer here is three sixty-eight. That's it. You can solve that question number one of page sixteen and question number one of page seventeen on loose sheet. It's very easy for you to do that questions from chapter number two. See you in your next video inshallah. I hope you are doing your homework regularly and you are enjoying your lessons at home. Allah Hafiz.